What's up YouTube? This is Rochelle and I'm back in the new year 2019 with our first budget update. Now you're not going crazy. You are looking at December 2018's review uh, month of the, at a glance and I just briefly wanted to go over it and show you a couple of things of how our, how our month went. Now first up under the income, we projected that we would make about 48.80 this month. Uh, we were able to instead bring in $5,833.34, which was a difference of $953 and change. Also, we didn't anticipate any extra income, but thanks to eBay, we were able to make a profit of $674.40 this month, which as you know, is about what I have in savings right now. I do plan on using uh, 250 of that uh, to pay off my husband's braces as soon as that office opens back up. So, uh, oh, our total income, um, like I said, uh, we made we were able to make an extra 1627.74. Very happy about that. Um, now let's see where it all went. All of our bills pretty much stay the same under housing, with the exception of the water bill, which was an extra $1.75. Uh, we had some medical bills that we are paying, and I am currently um, not happy with the bills that I'm receiving because I don't think they're all that accurate. So in the meantime, instead of paying them off in full, I am paying, making partial payments until I find out for sure if this, if these bills are in fact correct. So don't be afraid to question things when you get a bill in the mail. Please let me know below if you guys have ever had any trouble with medical bills. This is my first time having problems <laughs> to the point where I have regular medical bills coming in on a regular basis and I'm noticing a lot of duplicates, a lot of errors, a lot of oversights, and I'm just trying to stay on top of it. Next in transportation, everything pretty much stayed the same with the exception of gas. Uh, we did not spend um, all of our gas budgets. Instead, that $50 went to something else. I don't even know what, but I know we used it um, because we usually have cash for all of our gas purchases. Insurance, good news, our car insurance went down. They didn't even warn us I'll send a message or anything, but our bill is now gonna be $10 cheaper a month. So instead of it being $218, it was $208. Under food, this is what I talked about in my last video, guys, groceries and dining out. We spent an extra $300 more than we anticipated. So the goal this month is really to dial down and really be more conscious of what we're spending our money on. And if it's on food, hey, we need to prep. We need to be a little bit more prepared. Next section is um, pretty empty because our child is homeschooled. So um, we, we go out of our way to find things that we can do for free to homeschool her. She has different apps like Duolingo, which is free, and she's currently learning um, French and Spanish at the same time because she wants to do that. And we use Time for Learning, which is very cheap because she's only in second grade, so for now we do a lot of drawing. She is a science and art um, person. She loves to do those two things. So anything math, science, or art, she loves it. So we spend a, a lot of time on YouTube and Pinterest and different other apps so that we, um, we have fun with it and we learn all different types of things for free. Under taxes, there was no change. Federal and state payments were the same personal care. Uh, there was a huge um, difference in that department because I did start uh, seeing a holistic doctor in addition to the other medical things that I have going on because I don't like medication and I've spoken about this in the past. If there's anything I could be doing in a more natural way, I'd love to do that. Um, so I spent $212.50 because holistic doctors are not covered under insurance. Next up is entertainment which pretty much stayed the same. There was no change. I didn't even have to fill it in for you guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> same for loans. Uh, my school loan, I paid the $100. Hopefully this month, January, I can pay the rest of it off. Guys, I hope I can. That would be one less thing I have to worry about. Uh, next section, savings. Uh, as listed above, there's a 641.42 that we um, put in savings. 
and I have another small savings account that I added $31.25 to because I had some extra money. Under miscellaneous is all of our debt and other medical bills that we paid. The only difference um, under one of the medical bills, instead of paying the entire amount of $189.89, I only paid $25 because I don't agree with the bill like I stated before. And uh, I increased my donations. So that's it for the month at a glance for December 2018. Let's see how January is gonna go. Okay, so here's my monthly budget for the month of January. My starting balance is always zero. I zero out our checking account on purpose just to make it easier to track expenses, especially if I'm doing it on a daily basis. Our monthly income is scheduled to be about $5,100 this month, uh, but my goal is to make at least $5,500. So hopefully with hubby's new job and me picking up some odd jobs here and here and there, we'll be able to make that happen. Our bills are about the same. You can see them listed below. Um, time for learning. Verizon is high because last month we paid for the international plan while we were away on vacation. So that's an extra hundred dollars, but that, that we already anticipated and we had the money set aside. So it's not a big deal. Dollar Shave, $9.54. Uh, BGE, which are, is our gas and electric, went up because we had family staying with us for a week. So it went up by about $30, so not that much. Apple Music, $14.99. Wi-Fi went up again to $97.79. Uh, car Wash, $55. Home Security, $57.01. Wix, $8 for my website, which is actually travels.com. Cute little plug. Netflix $10.99, Crunchyroll $6.99, iCloud $9.99, water bill should be about $80, uh, car insurance $208 since it has gone down $10, and I just kept listing more of the expenses below which are a mix of debt and other things, federal taxes $200 CC which is our car payment which includes our lifetime maintenance plan um, which adds about 200 and some odd dollars extra to it a month so that we don't have to pay for any oil changes or tire tire changes or anything like that the only thing we have to pay out of pocket is for our tires to be rotated which is about 20 something dollars um but anyway that's 552 62 my credit card 80 dollars my business credit card i try to keep a balance on it and then pay it off every month 33 dollars my husband's credit card, $120. State tax, $145.25. Discover, $171. Care credit, $98. Mortgage, $601.97. Mortgage loan, $94.16. I plan on donating at least $50, if not more. Uh, school, $100. Going over to the other side, Eva Swim, $70. We have to renew the registration on our second car, $135. Medical, $100. Medical sinking fund, $25. Amazon, $119. We have to renew our daughter's passport, uh, $115. Unfortunately, you have to do that every five years instead of every 10 for adults. Uh, my husband's medical bill, $50, and Sam's Club sinking fund, $9. So that brings all of those expenses to a total of $4,089.18, which is why I'm trying to aim for at least $5,500 in income so that we have extra for saving and paying off school, which is the current snowball goal of the month. If possible, I would like to pay $552.53 to school. So that's it guys, that is my monthly budget update. Hopefully we will be able to achieve this and plenty more. And, um, oh, just briefly, just looking at the savings, our starting balance is $300.28. That's an estimate after I make this braces payment tomorrow. Um, but I am participating in the 52 week challenge, the reverse one, so that I will um, contribute between 50 and $52 a week. Um, for this month, every week. So that gives me an estimated $250 extra that I will be able to contribute to the savings. So in effect, that will take the place of the braces money and replenish it, which I'm very happy about. Well, that's it for this month, guys. That's my budget update. Peace, love, and budgets.